Well, hello achievers, I'm Brandon Bonerfer, and today we're gonna be introducing a brand new tile for you. The Living Keys is a tile that's designed to be a life balance wheel. It's gonna help you reevaluate the different aspects of your life so you feel complete and balanced in every aspect of your life. The creation of this tile came from a dig-in session that I had with a customer. We were looking at their planning board for the week and all the different projects and tasks and goals that they had their week and laying those out in the four quadrants to determine what matter most. We learned through doing this that his most important tasks were related to his career and financial goals, but his other self goals, his community goals and relation goals were not making the most critical aspects of his four quadrants. So we sat back and we had a conversation about that. And I said to the gentleman, when we look at developing our planning board, we have to have front focus of what matters most when it comes to all the different things. As I started to evaluate the conversation, I said, we need to create a balance wheel, something that helps you evaluate every aspect of your life so that you can establish daily key goals that you can implement throughout your week so that you have that sense of fulfillment. And that is how we can about living keys. This balance wheel, this tile is gonna help you feel full, feel enriched in what it is that you're doing in all aspects of your life. And it's a tile, so it's customizable, and it works across OneNote, GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Samsung Notes, or any PDF annotation app, and it's personalized and customized so that you can use it for every aspect of your life. Even if you have multiple careers and you're on different paths and different journeys, this tile is gonna work for you. So I'm gonna show you what we did here. So if you're not familiar with me, I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. And if there's something that you learned throughout this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button. If you wanna learn about digital planning and tech reviews related to the technology that we use for digital planning, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to enrich you with a lot of different information and a lot of different tech opportunities that you might have in front of you. Today, we're gonna to talk about the balance wheel tile. Now, what are tiles? Tiles are like digital stickers. We can implement them into our planning system. We can overlay them in different aspects uh, of our pages that we're using throughout the system. And if you're not using our planner, no worries. You can use this in other planning systems as well. That's what makes tiles very unique. And we have a whole set of tiles on our website, everything from project tiles, the meeting tiles, professional tiles that would help enable a return on your time each and every day. These tiles work in OneNote, which is a universal app that works across Windows, Apple, and Android. It also works in PDF annotations like GoodNotes, NoteShelf, Nobility, and Samsung Notes, and a handful of others. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use it in OneNote as well as GoodNotes. And the process for GoodNotes is relatively the same throughout all those PDF annotation apps. And if you wanna know how to get your tiles on your computer, go ahead, check out the link in the description. We have a full tutorial on how to import the tiles into your OneNote planners, as well as into your PDF annotation apps. So let's take a look at it here. Right here is the balance wheel itself. What we did is we created a page spread and gave you a sample template that has a balance wheel, an area for an assessment. And I'll take you through the educational process of this first. You can see in the balance wheel, we have one, two, three, four, five different boxes for each of the different points of valuation. Now we went down into the assessment board and we made a one, two, three, four, and five. The idea is that the three is the mark. Are we hitting the mark? Anything above three is that is an overperformance. Anything below three is we're missing the mark. So the idea here is to have a balance wheel in the center of our balance wheel. Not always to stretch out our ideas across every single aspect. I mean, if you're firing in all five cylinders in every single category, kudos to you. But the idea here, and I'll show you in a second, is that when we look at this assessment, we're gonna to wanna to look at areas that maybe were above our performance goals so that we can reassign and reevaluate time in other areas that were underperforming. And this gives you an opportunity to write a little bit of space about why you made that assessment in those particular areas. From there, once we complete the balance wheel, we have the opportunity to reflect. 
give us an opportunity to decompress any thoughts without taking any action. I just want you to look at it and say, what does this balance wheel tell you? And then from there, what is the strengths in your wheel? And where are some of the challenges that you're facing? And then let's talk about rebalancing. How are we gonna reprioritize our life so that everything is on the mark? And then here, we're gonna establish key living goals. I want you to set a handful of key living goals in each category that you can start to implement into your weekly planning. And then from here, what is your responsibility and when are you gonna have the next valuation when it comes to this balance wheel? For me, I'm probably gonna start by doing this on a monthly basis and then after I feel that I've gained some traction and my wheel feels like it's more circular in shape, I'm going to start doing this on a quarterly basis. So let's jump into the tiles that we've included in this. So if we go into backgrounds here, we're gonna see that we gave you a tile that's already pre-set up with career, finance, self, community, health, recreation, relationship, and spiritual. And then we gave you a blank one that you can be able to personalize. If you have someone that has multiple organizations, multiple businesses or roles, you might wanna create a balance wheel just for your work environment. Or maybe you oversee different departments, like if you're in a medical field and you're a manager of ENT and uh, I department and OB, and you have different departments, different people, different units, uh, this gives you the opportunity to help assess that. And with that, when it comes to the assessment side of it, we gave you one that's pre-established and one that you can customize yourself. And then from there, the living keys is customizable as well, as well as the one pre-established. These are all individual graphics and we can go ahead and we can copy any one of these graphics. So we can go ahead and we can copy this tile and we can jump into our template. And then from here, I can tap on the template and hit paste and that'll allow me to put that wheel there. I can go back into the backgrounds. I'm gonna select this time the assessment that is not labeled, hit copy, come into here, hit paste again. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and just organize these and move those into position. And once you go ahead and create your entire page, like we have done so already here, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and tap on each one of the components and set image as background. As soon as you do that, you'll be able to write and type and place additional media over top of this balance board. I found people that integrate their vision board into this balance wheel to help give them ideas of what it is that they're looking to achieve and maintain balance throughout all aspects of your life. So now let's go ahead and take a look at GoodNotes. We're gonna go ahead and open up GoodNotes and we are going to go back to our key page here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna sort of go ahead and I'm gonna write a note in here. I'm gonna choose this page over here, 16, and write balance wheel or living keys. And I'm doing this because we have hyperlinks in the planner that you can be able to create a link or establish a note section that relates to this balance wheel. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, so go back to reading mode and tap on the 16 here. It's gonna take me to this page. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the page sorter icon and it's gonna highlight the page that I'm currently on. I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow and click add page after. And then from here, I'm gonna hit import. And this is going to bring up my file browser. We saved the files in the download area and you can see right here, PDF app images is what you pulled in from your download. And then we look right here, we're gonna find the template that we're gonna use as our background which is this file right here. And then we're gonna go ahead and hit open. And this is going to insert that page next. And I'm gonna hit close. And if I simply swipe to the right, you're gonna see that that balance wheel is here. Now I can go back into my editor and I can choose medium and then go ahead and click on insert from. And this time again, we're gonna choose from downloads, PDF app annotations, and I'm gonna choose that wheel that's blank, and that's gonna insert. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that in here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull in the next one. And I'm gonna continue this process until I make my assessment board. Now, we've already gave you an assessment board template that you could import that's already created, but if you wanna create your own, you can definitely do that to personalize it. One thing different with uh, 
good notes and PDF annotations is you don't need to set it to background. I can go ahead right here and I can write in work and I can write work in here and I'm all set to go. So I can go ahead and continue to make this tile the way that I want. And because we use that hyperlink, if I go back, and this is my note page, if I go back to my key page here, which is my navigational dashboard, I can click on 16 and it'll take me to here and I can easily move to here. And that'll easily allow me to take notes about my balance wheel and be able to build out additional information in my balance wheel. So guys, that is the Living Keys Balance Wheel by Key to Success. I feel this is something that's gonna give you fulfillment in all aspects of your life. And guys, if you've learned something from this video, please do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you wanna learn more. And if you have any questions, please hit the comments. We, myself, somebody in the organization, another achiever, I'm sure will engage and help you through the process. If you wanna learn more about our planning system, go in the description. We have a personal planner, a professional planner, a business planner, and even an executive planner. So no matter what stage you are at in your life or what elements, that you want to bite into and achieve a little bit more success, we have a system that's going to work for you. And then with all of our tiles, you can personalize it to fit your needs the way that you want to achieve success. With that being said, Lord willing, we'll see you all real soon in the next video.